literally the best sleep ever best sleep i had in a while tonight once an alarm rings at 5 a.m holy shit it woke me up in a vivid dream i don't know what i was doing dreaming like that at 5 a.m because like that was after eight hours of sleep i could not wake up like there's some days where my alarm rings and i'm just like ready to wake up where i'm just like okay yeah i feel tired but like i'm ready to wake up like it's okay but then there's other days where i'm literally like mid-dream and it wakes me up in like a deep REM sleep and i am disoriented i will basically turn off my alarm without even knowing and like keep snoozing it but i'm not really conscious of doing it and it's like the weirdest thing ever so that that was this morning i aim to wake up towards like 5 15 5 30 sometimes i don't get out of bed till like 5 45 which was today's case because i literally could not like i don't know how to describe it if you know you know but there's just some days where your body just goes into the deepest sleep of all time which i'm sure is good for you but it's weird because like i thought that you're supposed to have like your REM deep sleep in the middle of your sleep at maybe hour four but like why was i having those dreams at hour eight that is so crazy because i had to go to bed at nine yesterday so got a really good sleep and i fell asleep right away like i'm the type of person that once my head hits the pillow i'm out like she is gone for the count and even if i'm not that tired i can fall asleep within like five minutes easily so i'm lucky and anyways yeah i feel better now like actually just like getting out of bed and waking up but holy shit guys that was rough today waking up but i'm gonna get ready for the gym same old same old the usual this is your motivation that even though it is tough to wake up early i know it's hard and i know it in the moment it's so easy to turn that alarm off okay i know but this is why you have to push yourself and make a prior commitment whether that's going to a workout class early with a friend going to the gym with a friend or even just booking a workout class alone is a commitment in itself having somebody or something to hold you accountable in the morning is literally the only way sometimes that you can get yourself out of bed it helps a lot like for me i have joel we go to the gym together so that holds me accountable because part of why i wake up is for him to be there for him as well and it goes both ways with us so we hold each other accountable it's such a good way and if i didn't have that i would definitely be like booking in some sort of class every single day that i need to get to or else your money goes to waste and who wants their money to go to waste right so that's like my biggest tip for if you struggle with it part of me even sometimes to this day i question in the morning if i should sleep in and it's an automatic just like get out of my head like no because if i give in to that thought i will be sleeping until eight o'clock so you gotta get rid of that thought right away and just do the thing just do the thing just wake up and your future self will thank you for that so anyways gonna stop rambling let's get ready for the gym go have a good morning early workout also how cute are these cherry pajamas i got them from walmart like a year ago now or maybe even two years ago now but how freaking cute you guys i am actually obsessed with them i love sleeping in like shorts because i get really hot at night so this set is perfect and so freaking cute <laughs> much as I try to be my healthiest self, there is absolutely no diet out there that is perfectly balanced. Either I'm eating too much of this or not eating enough of that. That is exactly why I started using the sugar to fiber probiotic drink mix every single day. The PhD microbiologist over at Zbiotics understands that extra sugar is all but impossible to avoid nowadays, unfortunately. And 95% of Americans don't get enough fiber, which is crazy. So they genetically engineered a probiotic to convert some extra sugar 
sugar from our everyday diet into a probiotic fiber called leaven. This leads to a healthier microbiome, which is the key to a healthy gut. One stick pack of sugar to fiber, and you will get your daily dose of fiber from the foods that you already eat. And this delivery of fiber happens slowly throughout the day, which is how your microbiome prefers it. Sugar to fiber is actually taking something that I'm eating and basically changing it to a different route for a healthier outcome. So I've easily just incorporated this into my everyday routine. I've been putting one packet into my water bottle in the morning, and I literally love that I know I'm supporting my gut health with this. So sugar to fiber is actually Zbiotic's newest product. They also have a pre-alcohol probiotic available to purchase as well to help with rough mornings after drinking, especially around the holiday season if you know you're going to be having a couple of drinks. So make sure you go to zbiotics.com slash Michaela Bento and use my code Michaela Bento for 15% off for any first time purchase of Zbiotics probiotics. Zbiotics has 100% money back guaranteed. For any reason, if you're not satisfied with the product, then they will refund you, no questions asked. Thank you so much to Zbiotics for sponsoring today's video. So I just got ready for the day and I'm just kind of looking through my emails right now. I washed my hair this morning and whenever it's a hair wash day, it takes me like double the time to get ready in the morning because I gotta like blow dry and style my hair. And I was just listening to this TikTok and apparently blow drying your hair is actually really good for it. I use um, the Color Wow blow dry not the blow dry spray but it's the something to do with humidity and whatever and i use that before i blow dry it and apparently like if you're using a product it's really good to like blow dry it in your hair it's not necessarily going to cause heat damage i'm assuming like depending on the blow dryer you use but i ended up curling my hair because i have been doing like a blowout these past i don't want to say like a month this past month now and i was like wow i haven't curled my hair in a while so May as well give her a little curl and i always kind of alternate what i do with my hair like one month i'll do a blowout and then the other month i'll do curls and then the other month i'll do straight like i just always get bored and then i'm like oh wait i haven't done this in a while let's do it that's like literally story of my life is i'll just go through these phases and then get bored and then switch them up but today's plan of action is i'm just gonna write myself out a little to-do list for what i have to get done today then we're gonna get into it not gonna lie i did take a little bit of a morning nap this morning and i have not napped like for so long now i have been so good at like sticking through it i find the hardest part of my day in terms of waking up at five is around like 11 o'clock is when i start to feel myself crash and that's usually when i'll have like my coffee so this morning i actually took a nap before my coffee and it just felt really good like sometimes you just need a nap and it is okay to take a little bit of a nap and so after i showered and washed my hair i just took a nap and then i blow dried my hair but holy crap like sometimes you just need a nap to rejuvenate you and sometimes when i feel a lack of sleep kind of accumulating throughout the week i'll make sure to get a good nap in because it always rejuvenates me i try not to nap but like one day a week is not gonna kill me and naps are fine like i remember coming back from high school back in the day i would literally nap after i got home and i would nap for like an hour or two and then like wake up and i would do that repeat every single day so anyways it feels like so unproductive to like nap but sometimes i just need it and i didn't nap in a long time so it was very justified and i just needed to lay my head down yeah that rem sleep last night was crazy and my body was still like tired okay let's write a little to-do list i have to film two sponsorships today i'm pretty sure i'm needed double check that but i know i at least have to film one finish editing my video make the thumbnail and schedule the video to go up on the weekend i want to edit my short form morning routine that i filmed the other morning and i haven't gotten around to editing it yet and i kind of want to hop on the bandwagon of doing more short form contents again because i have been lacking on that so winter arc winter grind the end of the year i want to hop back on that i got to run some errands i need to pick up some cotton pads i really want to get like a light hairspray as well i've been wanting to get one for a while now just because sometimes i get like flyaways on the top that i just want to like shh down and that's about it so that is the vibe for today. I have a lot, editing always just takes up the majority of my days usually, so gotta make sure to finish that. Okay guys, outfit for our little Erin session today. I just literally got this top in the mail. It's from Garage, it's like their boat neck, long sleeve, and I am obsessed. 
I will have this link down below because it's like garage has such good pricing. This leather jacket is from Princess Polly. I got these Nike sweatpants on. These are actually my sister's and I stole them from her. And then I got on my green Adidas. I think I have matured, guys. Okay, I think I've officially matured because I have been liking carrying bigger bags around rather than my little mini bags. And don't get me wrong, my little mini bags will always have a spot in my heart and i do like have mini bags that i still will wear and i still love however at the ripe age of 24 i realized i have a lot of shit that i want to bring around with me i want to bring my tie to go stick i want to bring my lip gloss i want to bring my camera i want to bring maybe an extra sweater etc so if you guys have any recommendations for like medium sized purses let me know because i think that is exactly what i need because this tote is a little big for like everyday use just to like use as a purse and then my mini bags are a little too small and i'm growing out of them and so if you guys have any recs let me know because i'm on the hunt for a medium good size bag but i genuinely think that it's just my frontal lobe developing and we talked about this on the podcast at the ripe age of 24 i realized why my mom carried around huge bags her whole life and it's because it is the way to go and so i'm looking to upgrade my little mini bags to medium purses be more mature and elevated and not saying i'm retiring the mini bags because those will never be fully retired we still love a good mini bag and I literally have one that I wear every single day it's like my staple purse but I do need I feel like I need a new bigger staple purse that I wear every day let me know girls what we're thinking I just got to shoppers and I'm just gonna go in to grab cotton pads and then hairspray like I already said it's such a beautiful crispy fall day today the weather is literally like prime fall time the trees are so orange and red and it's like the most beautiful thing but i feel like fall literally lasts for like two weeks until like all the leaves start falling so i really am trying to soak in all of the beautifulness right now and just like a fall sunny crisp day you can't get anything better than that honestly i love getting my errands done as you guys know at the beginning of the day so then i can just kind of go home and then like bang out work before dinner I'm gonna try to be quick in and out so i literally just got these qo facial pads because i needed more and then this dove hairspray i was gonna get the tresemme one but they were also doubted the light hold so this one says flexible hold and hopefully it'll be just like super light to just like tame my flyaways and stuff when i do my hair but this should be good i'm assuming i don't know i've never tried it but like can you really go wrong with hairspray so that is literally all I got. Just finished work for the day. I am really tired today and hungry. I am ravenous right now. But I think for dinner tonight, or I know, I think I decided, I'm gonna do steak chipotle bowls. I have made chipotle bowls in the past. It's super easy. You basically just have to make rice and then have a can of beans and corn. Oh shoot, I don't have ripe avocados. That's the only thing, because I would love to put guac in it. But it's okay, I'll make do with just sour cream and even like mayo would be good like spicy mayo or something so i'm gonna make us some chipotle bowls with steak and just cut up the steak and it's gonna be so good mm, i literally cannot wait so i'm gonna get cooking because i'm hungry they're super easy to make and super healthy so let's get cooking dinner also you guys exciting news i officially ordered bar stools for the island we have not had bar stools like the entirety that we've lived here because when we bought the dining room table and the chairs, we were like, eh, if we buy bar stools, are we even ever going to use this? Anyways, came to the conclusion a year after living here that I do want bar stools. I make all the interior decor choices for this home because Joel does not care. Like he just, if it was up to him, there wouldn't be any any furniture in here so i have to take control when it comes to these types of things so i ordered a pair or i ordered four chairs on wayfair i will show you guys what they look like right now but they should be delivered next week which is such fast shipping so when i assemble them and stuff that'll be in one of my upcoming vlogs when they do come in but oh my goodness they are actually really 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 cute okay so these are them and i think they're gonna fit the space so nicely in.
watched the love is blind reunion and just finished cleaning up dinner but i was just kind of reflecting and i realized that i am always like trying to think one step ahead and it's kind of not always good to do that it's just so funny because in life when we accomplish like our goals technically i am living like my dream life right now and i am like i've always wanted this for myself to be at the spot that i am now but now that i'm here i literally am just like okay what next what next not in terms of like youtube but like other aspects of my life i'm like what should i be doing more what next project am i gonna work on but i'm just here to tell you it is okay to just like live your life and not always have to think like what's next what am i gonna do next what's my next million goals you guys already know i am literally the first person to say that it's really beneficial to have goals and like mo motives have all that like that is great but on the other hand of that sometimes you just need to enjoy the spot in your life that you are in right now if you're unsure where you want to take the next steps you just kind of have to let it flow to you i think i'm in that space base right now where i am just waiting for like my next quote-unquote chapter and i'm just kind of coasting right now in a really good way it's not negative at all but i'm so used to just like hardcore working towards something but right now i feel like i'm in a place in my life where i'm not like i have these little goals every day that i make for myself and that i do like waking up early being productive working out moving my body making healthy dinners like i have these little goals every day but i don't have like an overarching huge goal right now and obviously one of my goals is like to always you know keep continuously growing my youtube but i know like that just will happen eventually anyways so it's just like funny because i was thinking here and i'm just like what am i doing but that's okay like that's okay that i don't have this huge thing right now that i'm working towards like i can just be coasting until that new thing is going to come to me wherever you are in life right now just know that you are not behind you are on the right path and everything that comes into your life and is happening is meant to be whether it's to teach you a lesson or to reroute you or to lead you on the path that you need to be on like everything is happening for a reason and it's impossible to fall behind in your own journey your journey is for you and no matter what age you are your journey is going to look completely different to somebody older than you younger than you your age nobody's going to have the same journey and that's why not comparing yourself to other people is so important i've been really wanting to like stop going on social media again because when i did that whole social media break a while back it was so good for my mental health it's literally inevitable not to compare yourself to people sometimes and i would say i am very diligent and good at like not over consuming social media i will stop myself i won't let myself just keep scrolling like i stop myself and i'm very diligent but even just like scrolling and picking up my phone like i don't want to just be doing that all the time anymore i think i'm gonna like take a break on tiktok and instagram for a while and just like try to stay off those apps as much as i can because i know it's so beneficial for my mental health and when i did do it it helped me so much nearing kind of the end of the year now where it's almost going to be 2025 it's like okay Michaela. i was thinking to myself like what do i want to do in 2025 and i don't necessarily know yet i really don't and that is okay when i meant to start switching things up and a new chapter is supposed to come it will come and i just can't like you can't really rush things in your life you know you can't rush them and i feel always like the best and most aligned with myself when i'm just surfing the wave like literally surfing the wave don't resist just surf the wave let the river flow you know i'm at a place where i love my youtube channel so much like i think you guys are my best friends like genuinely if you're watching this right now and you and you watch all my videos or maybe you watch my videos occasionally i still am so appreciative for you at the end of the day we're just we're just here to live our lives and wherever that takes us just know there's really never a right or a wrong decision because whatever you choose in the moment if you have a decision to make whichever choice that you choose is going to end up leading you to the same path anyways eventually i do feel like i'm at a really good place just coasting and i feel very aligned lately as well like i just feel like my aura is good my energy has been really good and i just feel like i'm at the right place and aligned but like part of my brain is always thinking because that's just ingrained in me oh what's the next steps what am i going to be doing next year what's the next chapter when is that going to come 
and I just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. As cheesy as it is, that's literally what you gotta do. And it's when I do that is when I always find the answers that I'm looking for. And there will be different phases of your life where maybe you're gonna be super busy and it's gonna be a few chaotic months in a row. Or there might be a phase of your life where you're just gonna not be that busy, you're gonna be chilling for a few months in a row, and that is okay. Like, this is the whole point of life, is to live that through the ups and the downs. If life was literally just a straight line, it would be no fun. Like, it would literally be no fun. So, I actually heard this saying, my life is peaceful, not boring. Which is so true, because I'm the type of person where like I have some friends in my life where they always have a story to tell They always have drama like they always have something to tell me and I'm more so When somebody asks me the question like oh, what's new? Like what do you have to tell me? I don't have much to say because my life I guess you could say quote unquote maybe is boring But like no, that's just peace babe like that is just peace and I am very much at peace and it feels really really good and i'm very thankful to not have things to stress about every day to be at the place where i'm at yeah i just love that quote so much because sometimes i'm like is there something wrong with me like why don't i have any stories to tell people like there's nothing dramatic ever happening in my life but you have to see that as like a good thing peaceful not boring that's just kind of the chapter of my life that i'm in it feels really good so anyways it's currently eight o'clock so i'm going to turn the tv off now and head up to bed and yeah just get myself ready for bed and tomorrow's friday so that's a big slight i literally love my couch so much guys like i have a hard time getting off of it every day <laughs> Okay guys, so I am now all cozy in bed. I got my little red light on in my lamp. I have recently been in such a good routine of reading before bed and I've been reading Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have actually like been reading before bed consistently. I've been reading it on my iPad. I'm like 80% through the book so I'm almost done and I've been genuinely like really loving the book. It's been keeping me so interested and I just want to keep knowing what happens next. So I've been picking it up every single nights a life hack to reading is you just have to get a book you're genuinely interested in and you will want to keep picking it up i like reading on my ipad because it like lights up so i can see instead of like a book where i have to get i would have to get like a lamp i also love watching a couple of youtube videos i like getting in bed about an hour early so that i can really just like take time to myself in bed before having to fall asleep because like waking up early you need to make sure that you have like a good night routine to unwind and to settle down it makes a world of a difference for being able to wake up in the morning wake up with a clear mind and every single time if i scroll before bed it always affects my sleep and the way the mood that i wake up in and i always make sure to like be in bed an hour early read watch a couple of youtube videos and not just like scroll 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 i have been making these little tablets and they're called what is it called again xylitol I will link them on my Amazon, but they're apparently really, really good for, like, dental health before bed. So, I just take a couple of these after I brush my teeth. And they taste so good and they help with, like, bad breath in the morning. You can, like, research xylitol and mouth health, but I just ordered them on Amazon and decide to try to see if I see a difference. And I genuinely do, so. Would recommend. And then I love putting my Laneige lip mask on before I go to sleep, especially at this time of year. Being that my lips get so dry if I don't put some sort of lip mask on them like I will have dry crusty lips so I got to make sure that I remember to put this on every night like this is the best thing ever it's so thick and it really will moisturize your lips so I'm gonna go to bed and see you guys tomorrow morning for Friday I'm just gonna read my book watch a YouTube video and go to sleep anyways good night guys <laughs> Good morning, you guys. The only thing that got me up this morning, not gonna lie, is that it is Friday. Friday is the most motivating yet hard day of the week because it's the last day, but it's also the most motivating at the same time because you know that you get the weekend to rest usually or if you're on the same weekend schedule that I am on. I actually had a really good sleep last night, but then I w woke up at 5.15, like by myself and i'm like wasn't even that tired but i just like wanted to stay in bed because i was so warm the temperature of the house yesterday was lowered so low that i was 
freezing if I got out. And that's like the most uncozy thing. So anyways, we're ready now to go to the gym. So, 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 so happy it's Friday. It's the most rewarding day ever. Like, I love myself a good Friday. So anyways, let's go work out. Get this last workout of the week done. This is your motivation. Just because it's the end of the week, keep at it. Keep going. Your future self will thank you for it. Like, in a few hours from now, I'm going to be so happy I did what I did. That is what's going to keep me going, is doing things for my future self. I love getting my workout done at the beginning of the day, so then I can just know for the rest of the day that I'm done and my workout is finished and it's just the best feeling in the world, I swear to you. So anyways, let's go. Workout outfit of the day. I have my Ritzy as a buff. This thing is so soft. And then I got my new lemon green workout set underneath. And that is the fit of today. <laughs> edited what i needed to edit today uploaded what i need to upload schedule things for the weekend and monday my podcast whatever and it is so gloomy today like the house i had to turn on the lights because it's so dark in here like it is literally so gloomy today there is not one single ray of sunshine i swear and it is just raining but it feels so good that i pulled through and worked out this morning, got that done. I was like this close to taking a nap this morning and I did it because I'm like, it's Friday, come on girl, like come on, you gotta pull your shit together. Let's get the editing done and I know in a few hours I will be like, so grateful I did all of that, but it just feels like so good finishing the week off strong, getting all the work that you needed to do, accomplishing that to-do list. It's like the best or most rewarding feeling. So anyways, I just have to finish up a couple things and then I just want to tidy the house because it feels nice getting to relax on the weekend and on a Friday night having a semi-tidy house. I usually do like a whole house reset on like a Monday or Sunday, but also before going into the weekend, I kind of like to just tidy things so I don't feel like a complete slow lob on the weekends and i don't like to force myself to do any sort of cleaning or any work on the weekends so i literally just let myself do whatever i want i sleep in i don't do my routine like i don't force myself to get movement and it just feels good to let go on the weekend so i think i'm going to do a bit of cleaning right now and just kind of like tidy the house for the weekend and i know it's gonna feel so good so gonna do that okay guys i just finished kind of cleaning cleaning up this bathroom because this is like my get ready bathroom where i do my makeup i do my hair and so shit gets dirty like the counter will have my makeup all over it the floor will have my hair all over it so i need to like uh, peep it throughout the week also redoing this bathroom like adding the decor that i did was like the best thing i've ever done because this bathroom used to haunt me before and i hated it but after i added some decor and actually like put effort into it i love being in here the one thing about waking up at 5 a.m. is that you will get tired so early on in the day. Like I start hitting a wall or getting super tired at like 7 o'clock. And when it's a Friday night like tonight and you want to stay up later, it's almost kind of impossible because you're so exhausted and you need to get to bed by like 9 o'clock. And that's the only con. Like literally I'll be hanging out with people and it'll be 8 o'clock and my head will be bobbing up and down because I'm so tired. But it's like I don't party anyways. So it doesn't matter. Just like that all the time where like I actually do something. I feel like I also, my body adapts really good to sleep schedules as well. So like if I do go to bed and I push myself to stay up later on a weekend, like at 12, then I could still easily make myself fall asleep at like nine o'clock the following Monday. I feel like my body can like adapt to that and a lot of people ask me like bitch why do you wake up at 5 a.m when you literally don't need to because i don't really have any requirements in terms of being a youtuber that i need to wake up at 5 a.m for unless days that i'm doing my background acting or something but i just like it for the challenge and i felt like when i wasn't doing this i didn't have 
enough challenge or sense of routine in my life and this just kind of like I'm kind of cycle like that where I need something to almost challenge me every day in order for me to feel very fulfilled and I don't know what that is about me maybe it's something I need to work on but days that I don't wake up early and I don't work out and I don't have any sense of routine I feel like shit so waking up at five is like so sometimes kind of torturous in the moment but after doing it, it's like the best, most euphoric feeling in the world, I swear to God. I used to be the type of person that thought I'd never be able to wake up this early, but when I established my own sense of routine and like made my own routine and incorporate things I really love, it's made it so much easier. This is a choice. I choose to wake up at five for my own sake i feel like that also plays a part in it i'm not really like forced to do anything but yeah i'm just honestly kind of weird like that where my body craves a challenge every day that's it like at least at this phase of my life and i feel like also by doing that i can motivate you guys to you know establish a good sense of routine and wake up early because i know a lot of people start work around like eight or nine or maybe even seven so waking up that much extra early and spending time on yourself in the morning i feel like is really beneficial as well so yeah that is like my reasoning for why i do it because a lot of people are like girl what are you doing <laughs> but there's a purpose behind it i swear oh miss toopy Toopy, literally, I swear, it's the her breed, the Scottish Folds. She does absolutely nothing all day. Like, she could stay here for, like, eight hours and not give a shit. Like, not give one single crap about it. The life of a cat is crazy, my baby. And Binu's just, like, up and at it all day. And Toopy's literally just, like... I'm just gonna stay in the bed and take a nap all day. But she does play. Like, she will she does have her zoomy moments when she plays with Binu, but she's so lazy. It's actually hilarious. Like, she's so cute. Oh, baby. And she loves to, like, nestle herself and be, like, super, like, cozy. Oh, you know. <laughs> One little pig. <gasps> baby. Say hi. My beans, guys. Look at how big they are. They have grown a lot, I feel like, but I feel like they also kind of reach like a plateau. So I don't know if they're going to get any bigger, but they're like a pretty decent size right now. Their paws are actually pretty big. Bean, you show them your paws. Show them your toe beans. But look, oh, there we go. <laughs> Babies. Oh, say hi. Say hi. Oh, best decision ever was getting cats. They're so freaking cute. <laughs> look at how much of my vacuum i filled up and this was just from the upstairs how disgusting is that also i've always wanted to know what is that like all this stuff it's not hair because we had this prior our cats so like what is all this gray shit i've been wanting to know for so long now this is what we get off of the carpet like look at how disgusting that is and i vacuumed literally like three or four days ago i have been wanting to show you guys this for a while now it is the automated litter box that joel and i got for the kitties from pet snowy this has been a absolute lifesaver it is amazing the best automated litter box on the market and not just that but it's so aesthetic because a lot of automated litter boxes are not aesthetic and this one look at how perfectly it matches our decor and our carpet right here i would totally recommend checking them out if you guys are looking for an automated litter box for your kitties i will have a link down to this down below would definitely recommend and it saves us so much time and this area has never smelt because it keeps the odor control and everything and it's the easiest thing ever the girls always have a clean fresh litter box yeah i just recommend this a thousand times over so i'll have it linked in my description i just cleaned up the house a little bit and it just feels like so much better but 
Okay, I get these urges every once in a while and I'm like, oh my God, my house is so plain. I need to do more with it. Like for example, the, all the walls behind me, like they're just white, like they're just plain. Then a part of my brain is like, girl, you are literally renting and when you leave, you are going to have to patch up everything that you do. I don't know, renting just makes me feel like I can't fully decorate my house because we can move literally next year we can move in two months like we don't know when we're going to move we don't know when we're gonna buy a place we don't know if we're gonna rent another place after this i don't know what's gonna happen and so it's just kind of finding that balance between like still making this feel like a home but also not doing too much you know and i just like can't wait to own a house one day then we'll actually or i'll actually be able to like Put up all the pictures I want without worrying and decorate it the way I want. Invest money into it to make it done perfectly because I, I know what will be there for like basically if we buy a house maybe forever. So I don't know, renting is just like that middle ground where I'm like I feel like I can't make it like 100% my home in terms of like the decor and stuff because I don't want to be investing all this money and stuff in this decor like putting stuff on the walls if we're just gonna leave in two months you know so i don't know it's like this constant battle in my head where sometimes i'm just like girl do more with the place like do more but then i'm also on the other side of that i'm like wait to do that until like you own a place and you can actually like really get it done and i cannot wait for that i definitely like hire an interior designer because i know the vibe and aesthetic i want but do i really know how to execute that properly i don't think so but anyway so it's such like a third world problem that is irrelevant really in the grand scheme of things but i just wanted to rant about it i'm just like so excited for when i can just like really make a place my home and not saying this doesn't feel like my home because this 100% feels like my home but I would still be open to like try out a different place and move in a couple months if a, like the perfect house came up just because it's like also the beauty of renting is the fact that you could just after your one year contract is up you can really just like move wherever you want try out a new place and so almost us not moving after our year lease ended feels kind of pointless because we're like hmm should we be trying out another place since we're just renting right now like it doesn't matter like let's have fun let's go start a new chapter and so i don't know guys i'm constantly like chronically looking on facebook marketplace and like zillow and stuff for houses places to rent just to see if there's like a perfect home and we actually i don't know if i told you guys but we did go to see a house last was it last weekend or two weekends ago who we has to go see like a literal kind of the perfect size for us right now it was like the perfect upgrade from this house and it was oh my gosh guys it was the ideal house for us like we were willing to move there was just one con about it it was kind of further out so we wouldn't be as close to like the stores and stuff but it was more like farmhouse farmland vibes and we were literally ready to do it but then we got home and by the time we went to go see it and by the time we got home the listing was already taken off of the market like somebody had already applied and got their application through and whatever so yeah it was disappointing but at the same time firm believer and everything happens for a reason everything's meant to be so obviously we weren't like meant to get that house but I am keeping my eyes peeled on the market just because it's just like we're renting so I may as well have fun with it. If I find like an upgrade that's close to our price range what we're paying already, we would be down to pay an extra few hundred dollars to upgrade a month but we wouldn't be down to like drop another few thousand on top of what we already paid to upgrade so it depends. If we find like the perfect you know house or whatever then we will go take a look at it and potentially move but for now we're gonna stay here for the foreseeable future and we'll see but like i was talking about yesterday part of me is like craving a new chapter but then i'm like Mikila, slow down like slow down it'll come when it's meant to come and you just have to chill like you just have to chill and i'm the type of person that loves change i adapt i feel like really well to change and i almost need and crave change in my life so when i'm just like nothing has changed for a while i'm just like itching a little bit so <sighs> anyways yeah that's my little rant but we'll see what the future holds and where it takes us and we're super happy in this home overall obviously you guys know i don't know about you guys but i love like watching vloggers that they just make home content when they go on vacation and they vlog their vacation i honestly don't even like to watch it i don't know what's wrong with me but i just like to consume content of people working doing their daily lives being home 
just vlogging them doing their daily routine tasks even if they do the same thing every single day in their vlogs i will still watch it because i love that shit like that's the type of content i love watching for some reason so when it comes to my vlogs i like to kind of recreate that as well and just show my daily what i do every day and i know a lot of you guys like watching that like routine oriented content and just like seeing the raw footage of like my day-to-day -day life not doing anything extravagant just for the camera like that's my type of vibe so getting comments on my videos that's like your videos are repetitive and whatever it's like that is what i'm trying to do <laughs> like that is the point i feel like i'm just here to motivate people motivate you to like be the healthiest best version of yourself before i thought that i needed to like do these extravagant things in order to vlog and always make like cool things to do and unnecessary things but it's like no, nah, I'm just gonna like vlog my day-to-day -day life and hope that it touches and motivates some people, inspires them in some way. And so that's been my vibe lately and I hope you guys have been liking my content. But yeah, I I'm just here for the chill vibes and I hope you are too. Well, if you're watching all the way up until this point, I'm guessing you are, but that's the type of content I eat up to consume i just love the daily routine the weekly routines if it's the same basically the same vlog different font every week i will still be there waiting at your doorstep and watching it because i love that shit even people who work like nine to five jobs i love watching that type of content because i don't know it inspires me to just be in my routine and it's like almost you could relate to people like that when they're not doing all these extravagant big things too i feel like that's a big part of it it's like so relatable i don't know that's just where my head's at with my content i think i've just been overthinking things and just thinking about things these past few days probably because like i'm just at that cycle of my period right now where i'm just having all these thoughts but thank you for sticking around and i think i'm going to end today's vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much thank you for following my little 5 a.m diaries because i've been waking up at 5 a.m for a while now and it's just getting harder and harder now in the winter again so stick around for more videos like this and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up would really appreciate that and it would help my video and just leave me a comment down below so we can interact and talk and yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.